I don't, I don't even know. It was so fucking weird. <laughs> it was such a weird little thing. Thank you. <laughs> God. Thank you for what, pr playing your free-to-play game? How many hours have I spent in this goddamn game? One, two. There you go. Four. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. I can count, I promise. Oh, there's gonna be one somewhere over there. There are Wow. That one as well. Look at them go. Thonk you. That was that was a thonk you, not a th oh, okay. Hi. Am I still here? Yeah? Hi. Um, question. Am I still here? Genuinely. What the fuck is- Oh my god, it's their little- It's their little thingy! It's their little dude- Fuck. It's their little dude. They- That's their little, like, mascot dude. Sorry, I just thought- I, th I saw a thing that was like, this- The progress has ended. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> you know, one of those moments. One of those delightful moments. Oh, I love him. I love him. Look at him. <laughs> oh, it cut out for a while. How long is a while? Oh, fucking three minutes, two, two minutes, two hours, four, three minutes, so it's two, seven. We started at like four past, it's currently 15 past seven. Okay, so three fucking minutes? Jesus. <laughs> Just a couple minutes, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that happens. I fucking I hate it. I I am contemplating commandeering the the PC downstairs, but it is also in the coldest room in the house. So yeah, and also sometimes people sleep in there. That would be even more awkward. It's just like hi, really sorry about this. Can I steal the room for a couple hours? I know you were about to go down to bed, right? But I need to shout at people on the internet. Like, imagine how fucking awkward that would be. Obviously not in that accent, that's for comedic purposes only. But just like, god, fucking imagine. I'd, I think I'd die inside a little bit. Fuck. Seven! Fucking seven! Seven! <laughs> Wait, question. I wanna... I wanna look at this. Oh, it's fucking reset. <laughs> oh, it's, it's reset. Nice. Um, 
Okay. Better thing to look at. Ta-da! Why are there two... Unity crash handler. Why is the crash handler open? Huh? Okay, that's fine, I guess. Ow. Yeah, no, that's probably no fucking good. Um... We're gonna close that just in total. We're also gonna close that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, like... Okay, that's kind of... I really like how the task manager takes up, like, <laughs> several percentages of my CPU. Love that. Absolutely adore that. Couldn't think of any anything better, really. Could not. If I okay, it's really just that. Da -da, da -da -da. Wait. I just had a thought, and I don't. Sorry. I am functioning well. I'm functioning well. As I always do. Well, really, it's the question of am I functioning well or as I always do? Huh. Okay. It's fine, it's totally fine. I'll stand to the side while you shine. I'm not fine. There we go. Fuck. That's it's it's okay. It's what the fuck? There's there's <laughs> Oh, this is just a pain. No. Why would you do this? Oh, you asshole. <laughs> what is this? Ew. <laughs> oh. It it could have been really satisfying. Wait, no. Uh, I wish to- I wish to redo it. Would- Okay, we can't- we'll redo it at some other point. At the end, maybe. If- if I'm- if I feel willing, because I feel like unraveling from the inside out would be very satisfying. But other than that, my god, this is- this is douchebag levels of fuck you. God, we just gotta thank you with a heart and now we get this? This is bullshit. What is this? The amount of concentration going into this is fucking ridiculous. Oh, and it just, it, oh, there's over a fucking lap left. Ew. And now we've fucked it up again. It's alright. What if we just do a couple just in the middle here? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
fuck satisfying. <laughs> This is fine. I'm not losing. I'm I'm doing this out of spite now. <laughs> oh, this this hurts my my eyes to look at, like genuinely. <laughs> okay. minutes ago. Okay, so I'm back up at like 13. Hmm. Whee! So almost, so, so fucking almost got there without fucking it up. So close, and yet so, so very far. That's a weird shape. Weird, weird shape. A69. <laughs> Grand, I promise. Oh no. Oh. Oh, I hate this. Okay. That doesn't even really matter at this point. You can just follow the zeros, isn't that sweet? Isn't that just absolutely benevolent of them? Okay, so that's that one done. Hey. Is that a two? Yes, it was a two. Is this a one? Yes. Snazzy. It's okay, it's alright, it's okay. It's a two. Fuck. Oh. I do think I hated the spiral one more. Not even really hated, just I'm in a I'm I'm cranky basically. That's basically it. This is going fantastically. Nobody can tell you otherwise. Boom. F 
This requires an unreasonable amount of focus, like this level in particular. I don't know, it's just... It's, it demanded an unnecessary amount of brain power. Though that could have just been me. That... That might have just been me. It's a, it's a something. It's a weird looking flower. That's what it is. Seven. Hon hon baguette. Number seven. Now oh, that's number five. Gosh damn it. What? Oh. Wow. I can count, I promise. It's an ability that I have I swear it I swear What about me exemplifies somebody that can't count? Out now? What's out now? They're not very good at this, are they? Maybe it's just because I'm skipping out of them <laughs> Okay, now it's not even the focus. I just have a headache. <laughs> the headache is just worse than it was. It's not bad, bad, but it's become an actual inconvenience rather than just like, oh, hi, I'm there. It's like, can I think of other things? Yes. Can I think of more than doing this and the headache? Not particularly, no. What the fuck is this? It's the squash style, that's what it is. What? Okay. Oh, they don't line up. It's fine, I suppose. No, it's not. This is okay. I still function as a human being, I suppose.
Probably. Fake it until the headache stops, am I right? That's definitely not an L. 24? S4? C what? That's definitely an L. No, that's... That's about... Is that supposed to be a fucking 2? You could have... You could have just slanted it upwards instead of going down. God damn it. Who designed this level? I hate them. I hate them. Genuinely, with my whole heart. Definitely. It's just like, why Why would you do- What? Is that- Is that supposed to be a two? What is it? God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. I just don't like your design skills. Fuck. Like, the rest of it's fine. But my god. Get your eyes checked. <laughs> Probably does not help that I'm, yeah, skipping all of the star ones. Da -da -da -da. Gosh darn it. Uh. Now they're spelling stuff out? I know. It's like... Friday? Whoever did this one I appreciate, except for that R. But the rest of it's pretty legible. Still don't like the last one though. The last one was stupid. Bad design. It's only minorly disorienting to have to work it out in a different angle. Only slightly, I promise. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? That, I suppose. <laughs> Fuck. fucking bombs left? Well, there are two letters, so I suppose. I swear to god, one of them's just gonna be like, all bombs. <laughs> like one of the levels, not this level. Not one of the letters. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Like, it would be so incredibly frustrating, but it would be funny. Boom. 
I say boom as if I've done anything impressive. That's what I tend to do. That's that's my go-to. Oh my god, it's, the S4 is out Friday. I, I, I promise I can read. I promise it's a skill that I have. I, 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 I swear. I, I, I really, I really do. I, I really, it's a thing that I, I'm capable of. I promise. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Fuck. There we go. Hey, at least it wasn't spelling. Thirty-nine. Mm. Hey. We're not doing too shit. I, I say with a grain of salt. With several grains of salt, actually. You know, you shouldn't take anything that I say at face value. It's like, just when you try to take something that I say at face value, then throw some, so throw some salt at yourself. Don't let Mr. Boop hear that. Because he will start eating salt. It's a thing he will do. Man's got a salt addiction. Oh, hi, Valk! You're eating french fries? Hell yeah. Which have several grains of salt on them. Look at that! You're following this this advice fantastically, Valk. What are you doing? Are the french fries any good? That's the, that's the real question. That's the, that's the important one. Are they any good? Okay, but I got combined on Xbox and I can't talk to my friends for a week. <laughs> oh. God. I just. I never fucking spoke on Xbox. No, I. I said a bad word, <laughs> which was shit. No, there was one point when I was like fucking nine or something and I turned on the Xbox and started just playing things and I don't know exactly how it was either the Xbox or the PC and I just started playing things um, and like somebody hadn't unplugged a headset and or like turned off the microphone and I don't know what it was still connected to, but somebody could fucking hear me. And God, I died in. Th I think that's where the anxiety of, <laughs> of fucking comms started. <laughs> I think that's where it started. It's just like, oh shit. Oh my God, it might be genuinely. Because I have this thing about never really like, always being, like, anxious 
that I'm not muted properly in like games with like voice chats. I I think that's where it started. It it was so it was so fucking freaky. Because I was just sitting there, like, singing to myself, like eight-year-olds do sometimes. And then just out of fucking nowhere, just somebody starts talking. It's like disgusting behaviour. How dare you exist when I was eight. Even worse, I think it was one of my brother's friends. So I prob I'd probably know this person. Even if not, like really well, I probably at least know of them. But yeah, it, that was that was the fucking worst. They have a traumatic memory of this one time the stranger was in their friend's headset. What the fuck is this? <laughs> why are they spelling things? Valk, why are they still spelling? Genuinely though. Like, it was probably just as weird to have this random voice singing through your headset as it was for somebody to randomly start talking. <laughs> I think I genuinely shut off the fucking whatever it was and left and didn't touch it for a week. <laughs> Which, you know what, I probably shouldn't have touched it ever again. That probably would have been better for me. I'm not sure how I feel about this level. Video games are bad for you? Yeah, they they're so bad for me. Um I've I've just been here for um <laughs> for almost three hours. <laughs> Very healthy. So I get combat so I can't play multiplayer for a week. <laughs> you know what? That's one way to go about it, yeah. I'm great at this game. But yeah, no. The video games are so healthy. Yeah, ev everything about, about everything is very healthy all the time. The internet? Great for people. I don't think I'm processing anything. <gasps> we're on we're only on R, we're only on the fifth letter. Jesus Christ. I've been here for like a millennia. <laughs> okay, no, that's a little dramatic, but you get my point. <laughs> um, bum, bum. Fuck, it was specifically not that one. I'm intelligent. We're going back to the I can count thing. That's that's the only thought running through my head. It's just chanting. I can count, I can count, I can count, I can count. That's it. And the fucking rat and bog song. Can you though? Genuinely, I'm starting to question that. It's like, can I, can I really? I think the answer might be no. 
it's more of a reassurance count of five right now. Um, 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 one, one, uh, uh, two, um, uh, uh, nueve, <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> Um, um, 18? Yeah, see, I knew it. Fuck. <laughs> you were right. <laughs> you were right, I can't count. <laughs> I'll never, I'll never be good enough to count. You found my one insecurity. <laughs> Going dark, only the real ones know. <laughs> In this case, you guys <laughs> who have witnessed. <laughs> you only have one insecurity? God, I wish. Gonna record my piano exam and then pass out. Have a good rest of your stream. I will. Hope it goes well. Hello, Oatling. Oh, goodbye, Oatling. Oh, <laughs> God, I wish I only had one security. That that would be great. Just like you'd be, you just like if it was about being unable to count, you'd just never go anywhere where you had to count. Oh, you'd never be able to pay for fucking anything. i oh, just that's what that's what debit cards are for. Oh my god, imagine figuring out if you could pay your rent or not. Just like, okay, well, I have five euro, right? And I owe 700 for rent. I'm not- I- I can pay that. <laughs> Just- oh. oh, that would- that would genuinely be so inconvenient. Just live with somebody else, get them to count for you. It would be inconvenient, but you could work it. You could work around it so easily. Where did this come from? Um. Oh. There's only a hundred and nineteen more. Don't worry. That was very lucky. I'm, I kind of want to be a librarian. I just feel like it would be so very vibey. Though I do feel like it's the kind of job that you either love or you hate. I don't feel like there's an in-between. Though I do feel like that's a lot of that's a lot of jobs. I feel like most people hate them. <gasps> Ignore my funky breathing patterns. I swear one day I'm gonna get like psychoanalyzed for the way I breathe. Not even just by like somebody in person. No, that's just called going to the doctor, isn't it? That's- that's what that is. <laughs> that's called getting a checkup. <laughs> that wouldn't even really be psychoanalyzing you. That would just- Hmm. Hmm.
I feel so bad for the people that have like I I very much don't have the worst braces. I feel so bad for the people that have like 1700 bands all the time. I would not be able to survive. That shit would be horrendous. <laughs> I am ooh we've already been over this. I I I can count, I can count, I can count, I can count, I can count. I can count. It's okay. It's alright, it's okay, it's alright, it's okay. I can count, I can count, I can count, I can count. I promise. I I, I promise. braces and an expander and rubber bands the whole thing ew fucking expander god i like my fucking orthodontist has changed three times and every single time okay so the the one before the the original one had to leave because she was sick she put fucking track a track band on my top braces because I had a gap in my front teeth. Nowhere near the worst thing I've ever gone through. But it's just so fucking- I know it won't be bad in like three days, but my god, right now it's a pain in my ass. <laughs> Literally a pain in my mouth, but you know. But yeah, no, they had to- <laughs> they've had to force my jaw to- they had to force my bottom jaw back because I had underbite. So it aches <laughs> all the time. Or not all the time, but it aches a lot more than it used to. But it doesn't start cracking now. First day or two of new stuff is shitty. It so fucking is. <laughs> but yeah. The first one, the visit, the fucking appointment before she had to leave on sick, she put tracks on my top, on the top braces because I had a gap in my teeth. And then the first visit with the second one, he took those off. Second visit with him, he put them back on. Then he kept them on, on until he had to go. And then this one, she's taken them off again. What is this? Like, my god, make up your fucking mind. <laughs> it really is. Because it's. They're just. They're putting on the tracks and then they're taking it to fucking close the gap and then they're taking it off so the gap can reappear, unsurprisingly. And now she's trying to drag one of my teeth out of my skull. Because it's like, oh, this tooth is a bit small, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I don't care though. Please. <laughs> Exploring most many traumas as usual. <laughs> God, is that really the only thing I talk about? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Hi Cicada, welcome back. <laughs> yeah, just the usual. <laughs> It's genuinely, I think the orthodontists just hate me. Though I do think I also accidentally kind of nommed on this one's hand. Not on purpose. But, like, yeah, she was drilling at my teeth to get the glue off and then to put it back on because what the fuck else would they- This is like the seventh time they've changed my brackets, I'm- I hate this. 
I also have very I also have many traumas. I'm glad to be the solidarity here, Val. It I appreciate it. <laughs> Weep dreep. <laughs> But yeah, so I think she might have done it out of spite. But yeah, they, they, she has said, she said that they're, that soon. I think she said like within the next, like couple, we should be getting them off. So, so it's almost over. It's so, it's so. I'm so close to the finish line. Yeah, I like out of anxiety because I d I couldn't think, and um, I don't know. It was just it was just it was just bad, right? And I don't really know what happened, but at some point, like when she was on the last tooth that she was getting the glue off of I just realised that I was kind of like almost like biting down on one of her fingers and I just went oh shit but I can't really move my jaw to undo that because then the tooth that she's drilling will move I don't actually know what it was I don't like it wasn't like a hard bite it wasn't like om nom nom I'm intending to eat you it was just kind of like, it was, there was definitely a pressure on her finger. But yeah, she didn't comment on it. So I'm assuming other people have bit her harder. But yeah. <laughs> What the fuck am I supposed to do here? Ah. No. Fun. Oh, hello, Nightbot. I'm assuming other people have bit her harder is a funny sentence. <laughs> well, I mean, she's an orthodontist. So I'm, I'm, just, I'm just assuming that people... When you have to stick your hands in other people's mouths, I'm assuming that sometimes you get bit. That's what I'm assuming. That's what I'm hoping. I really hope I wasn't the first person to... That would've been really weird. <laughs> and now I'm overthinking it again. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but yeah, when she was like, explaining at the end, like, the kind of where we're gonna go from here, she was like, this tooth is a bit like not even after she'd taken her hands out of her out of my mouth. Like, she was still doing stuff with my teeth. She was just like, Well, we're just gonna pull this tooth down a bit because it's a bit small, isn't it? I'm like, I think I know which tooth you're talking about. But also, I I can't see it. It's in my face. <laughs> Eyes don't work like that. <laughs> God, I just want the first one back. <laughs> because, like, sure, she kind of didn't give a single shit if I looked like I was in pain. But also, she didn't try to talk to me when her hands were in my mouth. <laughs> what if you could roll your eyes back into your head, though? There would still be the top of your- the roof of your mouth in the way. 
like you still wouldn't be able to see your own teeth. You'd have to be like a slugger. You'd have to have eye stalks to be able to do that. And I don't have those. Unfortunately. That would be really cool. Just being able to see everything around you. Oh, you could be a crab! Cicada, why are you looking at me like that? Cicada, what what did what did I do? What 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 did what did I do? One, two, three. Seven, eight, okay. Cicada, Cicada, stop looking at me like that. Cicada, please. Fuck. God damn it. Nine? Nine, really? Okay, you've already reached your nine. Whoopsie doozy. This is this is okay. It's okay. It's alright, it's okay, it's alright, it's okay. I'm not losing my high fucking mind. It's alright, it's okay, it's alright, it's okay. There you go. Okay. Boom. I'm gonna be continuously asking about this because I need 700 opinions. Um, has has the microphone? Because I fiddled with it. Th this will be brought up every like 15 minutes. Hmm, maybe maybe 30 if you're lucky. You know? Oh, there are only nine left. I need I'm a weird mix of I couldn't give less of a shit about other people's opinions but I also rely on them far too much sounds fine still a bit of whoosh whenever you ah sorry yeah I but the quality is nice hell yeah hey but yeah I I'm gonna see if I can try and like make my own kind of wind sock thing. What the okay. Because as far as I can tell that's the only way to really stop it catching my breathing. Other than me having it like three feet away from my face, which it can't be because it's attached to the headset, and like screaming at it, which I also can't really do because I would lose my voice so fast. Wait, why, Cicada, why are you taking notes? You can buy the little afro things for pretty cheap if that's what you mean? Yeah. Probably. Probably. I'll figure out something eventually. It might take me a millennia, but we'll get there. We'll get there. At some point, you know? Drat. No.
but yeah, we'll I'll look into it at some point. Why do you, um... Your every response set rockets my heart rate, I swear. What have, what have I done this time? <laughs> who, who did I accidentally kill without knowing? Huh? to do this. <laughs> this area in Hexed is odd. It really is. I mean, it makes more sense than their backwards S4. My nose is very slightly runny. At this point, I'm just making random noises. Genuinely. Fuck. Isn't that what I do all of the time, though? I think that's pretty much all I do. Just kind of random noises. What did... Oh my god, they grouped together Ireland and the UK. I am infuriated. Nothing wrong with that? Okay. This is Ireland and the it's a map of the world, by the way. In, in case you had some trouble there. I'm infuriated. How dare they do this to us? Or could they? England? England doesn't deserve... No, I was fucking- I don't know who exactly I was talking to about it, but I was talking to somebody about the fact- About, like, the division of- Like, the fact that nobody really wants to be a part of England, right? And how we should just get rid of England. I mean, Ireland and the UK are basically the same thing- Oh, thanks, Valk. Thanks. But yeah, no, it's just, like, uh, get rid of England, the rest of us would get along fine. I'm just saying. And of course we're the bomb. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, I was talking to somebody about, like, how Scotland kind of looks like it wants independence from the UK. They can't until... They have to be able to hold a referendum and they can't do that until Westminster lets them and Westminster isn't going to let them. <laughs> Westminster isn't going to let Scotland 
called a referendum for um, independence because they don't want Scotland to have independence. <laughs> Because basically what's happened is that Scotland wants back in the EU, as far as I can tell. England should be back in the EU, but is too proud. <laughs> England is falling apart. <laughs> like, genuinely, you look, like, there's an egg crisis in, like, at the very least, southern England. Like, how do you manage an egg crisis? How do you do that? How many fucking eggs do you need? But yeah, and I mentioned the fact that Scotland kind of looked like it wanted um, a referendum. There's an egg crisis in America too. How do you- okay, America I can kind of understand because it's fucking huge. Turns out the entire economy runs on eggs. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, America's fucking huge. Though to be fair, there aren't that many people. Like, if India doesn't have an egg crisis, nobody else should be having egg crises. Crises? Because India has, like, so many fucking people. I don't actually know what the egg-to-person ratio in India is, though. Yeah, and they were basically the, basically the, what they said was, yeah, but isn't Wales basically England? It's like, one, no. Two, they went through basically the same thing that Ireland went through, but they were closer. <laughs> Feels like a Western thing to me. I don't even know. It, maybe. I'm still freaked the fuck out by the fact that um, the US washes your eggs. I don't get that. Why would you wash your eggs? In India, have um eat, eat eggs. Consumption of eggs in India has grown substantially in use in recent years as more families have entered the middle class. They now eat eighty-one eggs per person per year on average. Americans average more than twice that. Okay. India's the late latest religious and culture cultural flashpoint eggs. Eggs, but so not really. About twenty three percent are egg eaters. <laughs> Nine percent identify as eggitarians. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't know what if they're dirty. They're um it not really. Eggs have like in that's why in the US you have to refrigerate your eggs. Like oh like in Europe, some people do refrigerate their eggs. But you don't have to because there's like eggs have a coating on them, naturally, that like keeps out bacteria because it's the egg is supposed to protect the... It's not the fact that you wash them, it's the fact that you, like, wash them in chemicals. But it's like, there's like, a layer on it that stops bacteria from getting in and damaging the potential baby chicken. So they're pretty damn resilient to, like, getting bacteria in them. But because you, something you do when you like processing eggs to be sold in, in like the shell, it like gets rid of that in the US, that's why you refrigerate them. It's like, we have the option to not refrigerate ours. You don't. I don't know, it, it's just, it's just weird to me. I don't know, it sounds like British propaganda. Well, okay, do you- 
when you go and buy eggs, are they in the fridge or are they on the shelf? It's another thing to look up. I'm just gonna look up why US egg weird. They're on a they're on a shelf in a fridge. Yeah, we don't put them in fridges in the in the shops. Why the US chills its eggs and most of the world doesn't. Um Oh, Americans and along with Japanese, Australians and Scandinavians uh, tend to be squeamish about eggs, so you bathe them and then refrigerate them. You guys eat warm eggs? We don't eat them raw! What? Wait, what are you doing with your- Look, we cook them! I had to go after- Okay, well me neither, I guess. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, I would hope that you're eating warm eggs. I also cook my eggs. <laughs> you eat your eggs warm. Um... So unless I got a bad reputation. Okay, so basically what happened is that um a lot of people used to wash their eggs, but then a lot of people fucked up washing their eggs. Particularly when Britain was conquering the world. So they like they rot really they they went really bad and then britain was like well we don't need to do this by 1970s the us by 1970 the us department of agriculture had perfected the art of the wash with the help of fancy machines and it required all egg pro producers to do it meanwhile many european countries were prohibiting washing and asian countries never got on board with it the exception was japan which joined the egg washers after a bad spate of salmonella in the 1990s soon after eggs pop out of the chicken american producers put them straight into a machine straight to a machine that shampoos them with soap and hot water the, s the shower leaves the shells clean but it also compromises them by washing away a barely visible sheen that naturally envelops each egg wait how the fuck how do you fuck up washing an egg? <laughs> Fair point. Uh, yeah, basically there's a coating which stops stuff being able to get in. Um, why go to the trough? Uh, a lot of it has to do with fear of salmonella. That's why people wash eggs. The coating is a little like safety vet for the eggs. Washing can damage the layer and increase the chances for bacterial invasion. Um, a food scientist. I'm not gonna try pronounce that name. You spray the eggs with oil to prevent bacteria from getting in and refrigerate them to keep microorganisms at bay. But yeah, like, so yeah, we ju we just we just don't wash them. Though what I don't- what I didn't mention was what washing them had to do with lessening the chance of salmonella. It did not bring that up. I would also like to say, recently I've been having eggs on toast, just because it's like it's pretty it's pretty easy and I can't cook very well. I've been making the most egg-shaped eggs you will ever fucking see. Those things look so egg-like. 
It's like, you know in like, animation, when they like, or like drawings, where they draw the egg on the toast? It looks like that. Slightly more cooked. Because I don't know how to do them like sunny side up without burning the bottom. All eggs are egg shaped by definition. Yeah, but it's like the... Give me a second. Give me a second. Um... It's like the it's it's the like the comical egg. I don't I don't know. I just, fuck. <laughs> it's not really long on one side. <laughs> They're like aesthetic, so blob shaped, yes, but round blob instead of oblong blob. It's a very particular difference, but aren't most eggs blob shaped? Most eggs are wibbly shaped. <laughs> I feel like most eggs I cook are blob shaped. Good for you! Let me be proud of myself, Valk. <laughs> I'm useless in the kitchen. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm just. Where the f- How am I get it? Fucking Jesus Christ. No, I'm not flexing, I'm just confused. Fair. I don't- Yeah, no, I'm just- Oh well. Okay, give me- give me a second. Let me fucking- I'll find- I'll find you a thing. Um... Go on. Go on. Go on. Load, please. Please. There you go. Okay. I don't know what happened there. We're getting there. We're getting there? It's going slowly, but we're getting there. Okay. Um. Now, how do I? Fuck. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Why is this so fucking difficult? <laughs> um. Fuck. <laughs> no. I don't know. The wait. The no. We're giving up on it. It's fine. It's they. They're egg shaped. <laughs> That's as far as I you, Would you believe me if I said one of my best subjects was English? They're probably a fantastically shaped eggs. Thank you, Valk. I'm glad that you trust me on this. Basically, I'm surprised that I didn't completely fuck it up. That's basically what happened. Yeah, I'm just very bad at cooking in general. It never really goes well. I'm good at baking. It's not cooking though. <laughs> Me too, to be honest. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> More solidarity. <laughs> Except about the extent of my cooking. Hey! <laughs> Look at us go. <laughs> we can 
can both do eggs. It's probably more than some people. One of these days I want to learn how to flip things. Um, if you do, make sure there's not like a lot of oil in the pan. You know, like in the movies? Yeah. Just make sure there's not a lot of oil because um, at some point um, somebody I knew tried to do that and they got burning oil on their face and they had to go to hospital. <laughs> Both my parents could do it and I can't. Oh. That is annoying. But yeah. Just don't accidentally throw burning oil in your face. It's not pretty. Oh, okay, well now, <laughs> now I'm scared to put cooking again. Just don't put like an excess of oil on it, it's fine. Most of the time. Like, it happened once in however, like, Yeah. I'd like look up tutorials on how to do it. Or like I guess you could use butter. I don't think that would get quite as hot. I don't know. If it did, it would burn. So may a little bit of butter instead? I don't fucking know. I'm sorry to have crushed your dreams like this. I just didn't want you to get horrific oil scars on your face. Getting boiling water on oil on your face once is once more than I would like. Fair. Fair. Um. Just don't use a lot of oil. <laughs> to be fair, somebody else shattered the fucking door of an oven. So. These, these were like, at most 17 year olds. No, wait, when I was, um, yeah, they were like 16, 17-ish. So you, as long as you're more competent than a 16, 17-year-old, then you're probably fine. Just like, yeah, look up a tutorial. Don't use seven pounds of oil. Hey, let's put it this way, if neither of your parents have ever, ever gotten oil on their face, then you probably won't either. Mm hmm? Like, if you look at it that way... Fuck. Oh my god, we're in Africa. Oh, it's cooking genetic? Um... If it is, I got my dad's genetics for cooking. That would be so great. <laughs> that would be great. That would be so convenient. It's like predisposed to being a good cook. Just like, no, you had to give me your other bullshit. Mm. You had to give me the the predisposition to all of these medical issues. <laughs> but no, not your cooking. My dad can do one thing well and it's salsa. Not salsa. Chili. It's chili. Sorry. I've never had... Nobody in my house makes salsa. You can... yeah. The extent of his cooking is chilly. It's decent fucking chilly though. What? Sometimes I wonder about people who start fast food chains. Yeah. 
it's like like was that his was that his one dish and he was like everybody hates everything else i cook but people really like this one thing so do i like what's what's going on up in that noggin huh what's happening up there This is one game that my brother used to play, like, a while ago, quite a long time ago. And I'm, I'm considering getting it, but it's also like 16 euro. <laughs> I say a really long time ago, I mean like, four years-ish. I don't actually have a perception of time. Can we look it up? Wait. I'm looking a lot of things up. Is 16 euro a lot? Not overall, but I, I, I don't know. I have bad anxiety, so I don't like spending a lot of money. <laughs> um, when did it come out? It's like. Oh, the contract of the lead developer. I thought it said the lead developer of the game expired 2016. <laughs> ah, so 2012, so... About 11 years ago. No, not 11. It would have been like 10-ish. But yeah, 16 euro isn't a whole lot, but... Yeah, no, I have... I wouldn't even- I used to have a warped sense of money, so I was like, anything over like, four euro is a lot. Because I was a kid, and yeah. And I just- Because- Yay! Anxiety! Um... I- I know that 16 isn't a whole ton, but the residual feeling of being like, I can't spend that much, I can't spend that much, is still there. So I just tend to not. It's really awkward, because like, there are some things that'll, that'll be like, hell yeah, I'm gonna buy this, and it's like, like, 25 or something. But then anything that's like, ooh, ooh, this is 13 euro, I'm not sure if I should. <laughs> God. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Save me, please. It would be funny if it was just like, yeah, the. Yeah, the fucking. <laughs> yeah, the lead developer expired. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. That was my chin. Fuck. Just like, yeah, they're just... <laughs> they're just rotting. <laughs> what? Oh. Well, that's on me. Hey, Australia. Somebody didn't believe me when I said the kind of... So like, Europe, Asia, Africa, Oceania. It's like, the continent isn't called Australia. And somebody just didn't believe me. It's like, you know there are other countries there, right? It's just a lot of water. What 
the fuck? America, we call Australia a continent. Yeah, a lot of people refer to the continent as Australia, but it's like it's like New Zealand and all of that. Oceania is becoming more common. Yeah. Like, I'm not sure if it even- if it used to be just called Australia or not. I don't know. But also not many people go around listing the continents. So who really knows? I don't know. I don't take geography. Damn. South America is a lot of a lot of zeros on this coast. Imagine if this was like the population. <laughs> Explosive. <laughs> I have found I've found out that one other person um that I know really enjoys just finding people from like England and telling them about the the great famine in Ireland <laughs> being like yeah you don't get taught about it. they they just don't get taught about it <laughs> like it just doesn't happen they get- I think they get taught about like a tiny bit of it, but like the very start and not the fact that they, you know, caused it. But yeah, no, it's just funny. Because like, I can understand like other countries, like, like America and like other places not teaching about it. But England? When it's right there? Did you know that your country once starved my country? Exactly. <laughs> I think at one point... What, somebody that they told just start uh, started fucking apologizing for it. It's just like, my god, I'm so sorry we did that to you. <laughs> it's just like, what do you mean? <laughs> Bro, all of those people are dead. <laughs> Who are you apologizing to? You hear the same thing in America, except instead it's the colonists who murdered all the natives. <laughs> God, I bet it's fun telling people about that. Being like, yeah, so did you know? Were you aware, perchance? How the fuck are you supposed to do this? <laughs> It's just, it's just so entertaining to be like, did you know that this is what actually happened? So you know that tiny little thing that you did? Oh, hello, Nightbot. Hell yeah, it's North America time. Hell yeah, it is. Look at, look at you go. You click those North American hexes. <laughs> I don't actually know where, where, like, what, would North America end, like, I don't fucking know. Unsurprisingly, this map is kind of hard to understand. Okay. Sorry, I thought somebody was trying to, like, talk to me. No. No, they weren't. God's own farmable <laughs> Farm fed Bible Belt North American Hexes. <laughs> are you are you Valk perhaps from North America? Because everyone in America very globalized. 
fucking <laughs> Japanese anime. <laughs> Look at you go. God, I... Some people genuinely concern me with how... How, like, just just only in their own country they are. It's just like, yes, I know about my country and nothing else. Like, some of that's kind of forced by, you know, <coughs> government. But in other places, it's like, yeah, you're free. You have the internet. You're allowed to use it. Just like, you okay there? I genuinely think one of my friends just doesn't know what a Scottish accent is like because they're always like, oh, when you speak Irish, you sound so Scottish. And I'm like, I don't think I do. But yes, I do believe for now, for today, that that shall be it. Um, because, yeah, we've finished the end of that without having to pay, so I'll look into that. But yeah. Thank you for being here, whether you've been here 5 minutes, 50 minutes, or technically it has been 3 hours and 40 minutes, but it did drop at some point after the 2 hour mark. So yeah, thank you for being here for however long you've been here. I really do appreciate it. I do this Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays at 7pm GMT. Um, I'll be doing, next time I do, I'll be doing this will be tomorrow, unless something comes up in which I'll tell the Discord. Um... But yeah, if you're new, maybe consider following if you've enjoyed. I would appreciate it. But that's up to you. So, alas. Um, I don't know what we're going to be doing tomorrow, but it sure is going to be something. Unless I fall over. Unless I'm in more pain tomorrow. Um, or I do actually faceplant myself my way down the stairs. That would be impressive. But yeah, have a lovely rest of your day, however long that may be. And, yeah, thank you for being here. I, I do appreciate it. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.